Hey there, Divine Feminine. It's your favorite pal, Divine Masculine. You know, I was thinking, we should spend some more time together. No, I'm for real. You're my special Divine Feminine. And I love you so much. And you know, I was thinking the first thing we could do together is maybe we'll get together and I'm going to break your heart again. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> mm, yep. <sighs> I don't think so, Divine Masculine. You're not going to be harassing my divine feminine friends today. Hello out there in YouTube land, everybody. Welcome to my channel. The Kurt is back with a divine masculine reading today. Ooh, it's messages from divine masculine. I haven't done one of these in so long, you guys. Oh, it's divine masculine. Happy Wednesday, everybody out there in YouTube land. Oh my God, you guys. I can't even right now. I just can't even right now because I am so excited about the future. Oh God, and things are going so good. I just can't even tell you how good things are going right now. I'm so gosh darn excited. I hope you're excited too. Dude, the law of attraction. I got to tell you guys. Now, I know this is a Twin Flames reading and remember... Don't use manifesting techniques to get your twin flame back, right? Don't do that. The law of attraction technically does work with your twin flame, but it's not mental energy that gets your twin flame to come back. It's, it's uh, consciousness. It's the soul, right? It's spiritual. It's completely different, but... You and your twin flame are the same soul. It's the same spiritual vibration. So when you increase that, they do come back because of the law of attraction. So that is true. But if you focus on your twin flame mentally, emotionally, or metaphysically, if you're like thinking about it, if you're doing like visualizations and stuff like that, that's something that actually makes them run harder because there is a polarization at the level of the mind. It's like yin, yang. Light, dark, right? Like with your twin flame. There's a polarization at the level of the mind with your twin flame. So if you focus on them, they focus on anything but you. Oh, 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 guys, guys. I forgot to mention. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show this later, actually. I'll show that later. Because everybody always skips the intro of the video. Lame. You guys that skip the intro, lame. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my new crystal. But uh, yeah, no, seriously though, guys, I am so super pumped about the law of attraction. And do you guys have, do you have any idea how gosh darn easy it is to manifest an amazing, fabulous life for yourself? Think about it. Never mind your twin flame for a second. I'm talking like abundance, maybe a soulmate, maybe you're sick and tired of the running and chasing with your twin flame, right? And you're like, fuck it, I'm going to manifest a soulmate. I'm going to manifest a million dollars, a vacation, a big house, I don't know, a better job, maybe your health. Maybe you're worried about your health or some shit like that, right? Or, or your loved one. You got a parent, sibling, friend, I don't know, whoever. They're struggling, you know, with their health. Help them out, guys. All you got to do is believe that you can change and that things will get better and it actually will. And that's not bullshit. That's really how it works, guys. It's like almost all of the law of attraction teachers out there, all they're trying to do is talk you out of believing in limiting thoughts. If you think about it, if you watch like any Abraham Hicks video, that's all she talks about is how to stop thinking in a negative way and believing the negative limiting self-talk. <clears throat> that's really all that boils down to. So I got to tell you guys, uh, manifesting, it's so gosh darn easy, guys. It really, really is. And I even have like my new manifesting video course. If you want to sign up right now, it's so gosh darn super simple. So awesome and fabulous. You won't even believe how easy it is. 
after you're done taking my video course. But the thing is the video course, I just, guys, I throw everything, including the kitchen sink at you. And by the time you're done, you're gonna be like, I got it. I fucking, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what the problem is. Like, why do people limit themselves? Where does that negative self-talk come from? Why do they self-sabotage? And what do I do about it, Kurt? And here's another thing. I spend the first couple of hours of that video course explaining the science of the law of attraction because I want to show you that it's real, that it's real. Because when you realize how powerful you are and when you realize how effective the law of attraction is, and you realize that it's a real thing, it makes it's so much easier because you do believe that you can manifest the life of your dreams. Guys, sign up today. It's called Manifest Your Dream Life. Don't use the Manifest Your Dream Life video course for your twin flame. It's all the other things. Your twin flame is already you. You don't need to manifest them. You are already you, right? So when it comes to your twin flame, it's something else that you got to do. Okay, guys. Oh my God. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Hierophant in reverse. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, sorry. Dun, dun, dun. It's the Hierophant in reverse. Oh my God, Divine Masculine. Uh, okay, so if your Divine Masculine is married, uh, they're going to be getting a divorce. If your Divine Masculine um, works too much. They're going to be leaving that job. If they're in a relationship, they're going to, I don't know, cheat. They're going to get caught cheating. That's not, that's never a good thing, but it's going to cause the relationship to break down already right off the bat guys on the double in reverse. We've got the tower in reverse recent past. That's like the tower on steroids. The tower in reverse, guys. Holy shit. Oh my God. Their situation is so fucked. <laughs> divine masculine. What are you doing, bro? Now, your divine masculine might be on social media shit posting about how fucking ass awesome their life is. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Uh, okay, so their life situation is falling apart. Everybody gets on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever. Like, oh yeah, look at how badass I am. And my life is the shit and I love it. And me and my family are getting along and I love my job and I love Jesus and I love you and I love everybody and I love all the children and I blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh, yeah, we're, yeah, that's complete horse shit, guys. Okay, everybody does that. If you could be a fly on the wall at Divine Masculine's house, oh... Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my damn. So don't listen to them. They're telling you how great their life is. They're telling you they're on Facebook, right? Uh -uh, no, no. They're just trying to say, faith. oh, I forgot. I was going to show you guys this real fast. My twin flame, she went to Santa Fe recently with a girlfriend of hers, and she picked out this uh, crystal for me. It's called Citrine, I believe. And I love um, the color, by the way. I really like this a lot. She's so sweet, you guys. My twin flame, she's such a little cutie. She's such a little cutie pie. She picked out this one for me too. This is um, Soda Light, I believe, is what that one is. But yeah, pretty cool. She's a little sweetheart. And she's, well, she's what you call divine masculine, my twin flame, right? Very, very feminine. I am very, very masculine, but I'm what you call divine feminine. Well, those are just labels. Just keep watching. It'll make sense to you. Okay, guys, four of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles for the karmic situation, so-called divine masculine, right? Your twin flame. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to work out. There's nothing to hang on to. There's no reason to stick around. Like this situation sucks. I'm kind of tired of this. I'm tired of putting in all this effort. Guys, you got to kind of feel bad for divine masculine. Like I said, if you could be a fly on the wall, you would see some motherfucking drama at that household or at the job place or the family or whatever it is that's going on. And divine masculine is basically checked out. Basically checked out. I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of getting out of bed every day and having to look up at all this crap all the time. Listen to y'all people bitching and moaning and complaining. And then for you, Divine Feminine, so this is recent past. This is stuff that they're not telling you. This is why you watch tarot readings, right? 
Don't you ever get the sneaking suspicion that your twin flame, so-called divine masculine, isn't really telling you everything that's going on? They're not really telling you how they feel. Does that ever happen to you? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And by the way, guys, I do read your comments. <clears throat> I am the world's leading twin flame coach. Ooh. Now, what gives me the right to say that? Because I've coached over 5,500 twin flame students, and my approach is science-based. That's why I read your comments, because I'm looking for information, right? I'm looking for patterns. And here's what I'd like to hear from you on today. Okay, so if you're out of the obsessive thinking stage, which, holy shit, go watch my free coaching videos if you want to see some shit that you've never seen before when it comes to this topic, Twin Flames, you're going to get some raw, unfiltered honesty about Twin Flames. Because you look on the internet and it's all, oh, it's a fairy tale. It's like a Disney movie. Oh, oh, you guys love each other so much. And a blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, nah, uh, no, no. No, motherfucker, it's painful. It sucks. It's horrible. Right, so the obsessive thinking. Right, okay, check. Uh, checking their social media 5 million times a day, check. Uh, the sense of meaninglessness, check. By the way, holy shit, did I mention the obsessive thinking? Yes, Kurt, you did. Well, I'm mentioning it again because holy shit. All right, check. All right, now, after you get out of that phase, they call it dark night of the soul, your twin flame might actually not be resisting you as much. This is what I want to hear from, if that's you, if you're kind of out of the obsessive thinking stage, you ever notice how your twin flame, they'll tell you, oh, I don't love you, and then they show you love? And you're like, well, do you care about me or not? And then if you start nagging them about it, then they get all butt hurt and they start running away again. Anyway, if that resonates with you, I'd love to hear from you because that happens to a lot of people, you guys. Now, here's why... I gave you that long, protracted, breakdown story explanation, because look at this. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse next to the Five of Cups. Now, remember, this is how does Divine Masculine feel about me. And this up here, top row, this is recent past right. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Divine Masculine is not really being honest with their feelings about you. They are sad. They do miss you. Okay? And they think about you a lot. Why? Why don't they want to tell me that then, Kurt? Why do they run? Why do they block me? Why do they reject me? Why are they always keeping me at an arm's length? Why do they do that? Why, 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 why? Well, you want the real answer? It's because you're asking. Now, don't click off. <laughs> it's because you're asking. Remember, you and your twin flame are polarized at the level of the mind. Remember, you are body, mind, soul. The mind is duality, yin, yang, yin, yang, light, dark. Alpha, omega, positive, negative, anode, cathode, good, bad. You push, they pull away. You focus on them, they focus on anything but you. And the degree to which they run or resist you or are pulling away or whatever is going to be equal to the degree that you are thinking about them, focusing on them, concentrating on them, trying to figure out what to do about them, watching tarot readings, Naughty, naughty. And you know, the only reason I do these tarot readings is to get you guys onto my YouTube channel so that I can encourage you to go watch my freaking free coaching videos. Get your butt over there to my YouTube channel and do something about your situation. Seriously, guys, please don't just sit around watching tarot readings. The only reason I do these is to get you onto my YouTube channel, blow you up with my messages, and then encourage you to go watch my free coaching videos. I even put the best ones on a playlist. There's a playlist. It's called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Go find the playlist menu for this channel. Playlists menu for this channel. And the name of the playlist is called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Those are my free coaching videos. Oh my God, guys. Queen of Swords at the very center of the reading. Need I say more? Yes. Okay, then I will. Divine Masculine, they're going to be telling everybody around them what the fuck they're thinking. And that includes you, Divine Feminine. Get ready. It's not going to be pretty at home, guys. It's not. Look at this shit. Okay. Page of Pentacles in reverse. That's not great. But what makes it really bad is this Nine of Swords in reverse. Again, Nine of Swords, it's just like the Tower. 
Think of it like nine of swords in reverse is like the nine of swords on steroids. Just absolute uh, desperation, uh, anxiety. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't stand these people anymore. This is a complete non-starter. Page of uh, Pentacles in reverse. I don't even want to look at you guys anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm sick of this shit. This karmic situation with the family, the 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 spouse, the job, the whatever it is, whatever the stupid situation is, excuse the divine masculine is running from you. There it is, guys. There it is. They're done. They've had it. They've had it with the drama at home, with the drama at the job. And they're starting to recognize, you know, I can get a divorce too. I can leave too, right? Hierophant in reverse. I can take actions. I don't just have to sit here. I've got my life to live. I've got my life to live. And I got options. Oh, yes, you sure do, Divine Masculine. And they've been thinking about you quite a bit, Divine Feminine. Okay, so it's... The, okay, so first of all, we got this Four of Swords in reverse. So this is avoiding, like facing the truth of how they feel about you. And again, you're focusing on them. You're trying to figure out what to do about them. That's why they're running, guys. That's why you're approaching this through the mind. You and your twin flame are the same soul, guys. You're polarized at the level of the mind. Okay, and then we got this High Priestess. Do you guys understand? So they know darn good and well. This is into this is like your feminine intuitive shit. The high priestess, like your feminine intuition, right? Okay. And then four of swords in reverse. Avoidance. I don't want to think about it. I don't, I'm not going to deal with these problems. You know, all the things that I've been through, trials, tribulations. Right. Why are now at least they're getting out of this situation, but why are they kind of stuck in this same cycle with you? Well, it's because you're focusing on them. Guys, you are your twin flame. You already are them. This is why I tell you, don't use like law of attraction techniques like visualizations. You don't need to do healing. You don't need to clear your karma. You don't need to fix your inner child, balance your inner feminine and masculine. Those things aren't necessarily bad, but they're not going to help you with this. Okay, your twin flame is not another being. They look like one. That's the, that's the illusion. That's the mental and physical 3D illusion of separation, okay? You already are, un you are union. You are them at the level of the soul, body and mind. That's what everybody always thinks of or sees, body and mind all the time, body, mind. That's duality, that's separation. Soul is unity. And they've always called that unity consciousness. That's where the word union came from, not twin flames. It didn't come from twin flames. It came from ancient Zen spiritualism. Your twin flame is your spirit. They are your soul. You already are your twin flame. You are already one with your twin flame. And that's how you access union is by transcending the separation consciousness of the ego mind personality. Okay. Though that's where those words came from. They came from the Tao. They came from Buddhism or some shit like that, right? Ancient Zen spiritualism. Separation consciousness is the mind and the body. Unity consciousness, union, that's the soul. And you already are your twin flame. Your twin flame is your soul in another body. That's what everybody on the internet says, and they're absolutely right. But then they tell you to focus on the person mentally, emotionally, metaphysically, all, the, all these healing modalities. I got to go through all these stages. I got to clear all this karma, all this new agey crap to get your twin flame back. And it doesn't work. It backfires. It makes the obsessive thinking worse. You're like more obsessed now than you were when you started. Fuck that shit, guys. Go watch my free coaching videos. I got a better idea. Let's do an oracle card, guys. We're gonna pick an oracle card for this reading today. Here's my better idea. Sign up for my paid coaching, guys. Guys, I don't charge thousands of fucking dollars and I'm never gonna do that. That's a ripoff. That's bullshit. Fuck that bullshit. Get that shit out of here. It's affordable, guys. It's only a few hundred bucks and you can sign up right now with my payment plan too. If you cannot afford to pay in full, no problem. I've got payment plans. I'll take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments of around 65, 70 bucks. It depends on what package you get. Uh, and you're, you're in with your first payment. You get instant access to the entire suite of videos, instructional videos. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to shut down the obsessive thinking and get your twin flame to unblock you. And I'm not fucking kidding. 
It happened to me. It happens to my students. 5,500 students, guys. I got lots of students and they're loving it, guys. Now, when you're done watching the instructional videos, you and I get to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching calls, up to four calls a week. That's like eight hours of live coaching every single week. The call times are staggered. So no matter where in the world you are, US, Europe, Asia, Canada, South Africa, it doesn't matter. There should be a call time that works for you. And as a backup, the calls are recorded. And I think you'll find that most people are asking kind of the same questions. So you could just listen to the calls and you're going to definitely get answers to your questions. Trust me on that. Trust me on that, guys. So there's the calls. You can talk directly to me or my coaches. I've got two, cho two coaches assisting me and Brittany. Brittany is running the calls. Brittany has been running the calls. She's so good, guys. My new coach, Brittany, she's fucking amazing. You won't even believe it, guys. And uh, sometimes I even have her run the calls by herself. She's that good, guys. She's good. I'm usually on the calls, though. Okay, there's also the community. Oh, wait, Kurt, you're not done? No, I'm not done. It's a little bit of money, and you get a whole shitload of stuff, guys. Get the gold package. Get the gold package. It's not that much more money, and you get two months of the group coaching calls and the community. The secret, closed, private Facebook community, not my public New World All-Star group, but the private community for paying students. Uh, nobody can even see who is in there or what we're doing in there. Your friends, family, coworkers, nobody can even see that you're in the group. You get in there and in private, talk to other people that are in this program. There's 370 people in that community right now that you can connect with. There might even be somebody that lives nearby you. I've got students that physically get together all the time and hang out. There are resources in there, free. Uh, there's uh, exclusive video content, live uh, Q and A's with yours truly. I do those um, a few times a month. You can talk to other people, get in there, tag us, ask us your questions, and you're gonna get an answer, guys. We comb through that Facebook group at least five days a week and make sure to catch every single question. We're pretty thorough, guys. So you're going to get your money's worth and it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, guys. Sign up today. Change your life. Shut down the misery. Get your twin flame to come back. All that good stuff, guys. And I'm absolutely serious about that. And uh, I do have a special going right now. If you pay in full, just pick the pay in full option at the checkout, automatically get, it'll take 50 bucks off the total price. It's $50 versus the payment plan, $50 less expensive versus the payment plan. All you got to do is pay in full and you get that $50 discount, guys. Although I do have those payment plans all the time. Uh, you can get one-on-ones too. Sign up today, guys. Change your life. It's very comprehensive. Oh my God. Divine Masculine Meditation. Well, somebody needs to meditate. I don't know. Maybe they're going to start meditating. You know, that kind of makes sense. I was wondering about this devil card down here. Look at this. Okay, so we got the devil right here for most likely outcome. Have you been like double tripling down on your meditation game, Divine Feminine? Have you? There, you know, this is like a lot of sexual energy. I'm wondering if Divine Masculine is going to be showing up at your house. Yeah, all right. Ow, bow, chicka, bow, 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 bow. Um, probably. That's usually what that card is. Sometimes it means like an unhealthy attachment too, but it, it, it can be a lot of sexual energy too. Okay, so towards the uh, so-called karmic situation, this is going to be like tearing the Band-Aid off. Normally, I would look at a combination of cards like this is Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, and I would go, oh, that's so nice. Oh, look at how cute that... No, I don't think so. Not this time, guys, because look at these other cards. We've got this Devil and then this Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, this is kind of fucked, guys. I'm pretty sure this is Divine Masculine mourning a loss. This is like ripping the fucking Band-Aid off. Oh, my God, guys. So, are you double tripling down on your meditation game, Divine Feminine? You better get started. You better get started. Your twin flame is your soul, guys. Remember that. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Okay. Last, how does Divine Masculine feel towards Divine Feminine? I don't know. King of Pentacles in reverse. Next to the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Four of Wands in reverse next to the Devil. I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is going to be banging down your door 
to bang you and it's going to be real soon. I'm serious. That's literally what these cards say over here. Guys, oh my God, what a great reading. Please give me a like. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button when you subscribe so you get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. Have a great week, you guys. I'll be back on Friday for the Twin Flames Collective reading. Much love out there. Bye.